your eardrums. Oh, I can't hear. Oh, I just hear a humming. Um, 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 um. All right, let's build a floor so that crap never happens again. <laughs> We're back on the beautiful V8 Honda CRX. In the last video, I got a bunch of new parts installed. Check it out. Check out the new tail lights. Ooh, she's looking good. All new lights. I've had these lights for like six months, but I never had my hood fitting right. I never had the right fenders. The fenders I had were bad. I got all my new stuff in, got those installed. They look great. New fenders, new quarter panel patches because we had a bunch of rust back here. Got that all taken care of. And I finally got some sheet metal in to get started on the floor and all the other stuff we need sheet metal for. I have no idea why it was so hard to find sheet metal in Missouri. Usually it just takes me 10 minutes this took me like a week or two been looking everywhere finally got a couple pieces and we're gonna jump right in and get started on the floor originally i was gonna make this kind of more complex than it needed to be i was gonna come straight down and then have a piece going here i think i'm just gonna go from that point up i don't know i'll probably end up changing my mind once i get in there but i think we're just gonna go super simple anyway it was never gonna be a crazy you know wild interior i kind of like a bare bones interior especially when you have a roll cage i really like seeing the roll bars and all that stuff and then we'll just paint all of this make it look real good we might not even do carpet i don't know but we definitely have to have some sort of uh sheet metal covering all this because even though i haven't driven it very far the little drive i did it was terrifying not only because the drive shaft is open just dust and rocks and all kinds of shit hitting you so we got to get this all buttoned up let's grab a tape measure and uh come up with a plan pieces in here and probably call it a night. Still don't know what I'm gonna do in the front just yet. <laughs> Alright, let's get to work.
a good stopping point tonight. Tomorrow we'll close this in, start getting the front done. Looks good too. The next day. All right, we're back, baby. The goal is to get this stuff all cleaned up here real quick. I need to make that go down to close all that up and then close off the back sections from the roll bar over to the inner door panel, whatever you want to call that, wheel well. I need to close all that off. We're going to do that real quick, and then we're going to start up here on the floor. I like how I say we're going to do that real quick, and not that it's going to take me four hours because it's going to, but we're going to knock that out real fast so that we can start tackling all the funness of this. This is going to take a lot more shape than that stuff did, so it's going to take even longer, but I don't know. Let's go bitching and get to work. So naturally we're just supposed to be doing the floor, but I saw a spot in the frame I don't like. So we're gonna do some framework while we're at it. It's only an extra couple hours of work. God, I'm stupid. Why not? <laughs> Time to shape the drive shaft tunnel. And naturally we use the basketball pole that doesn't even have a basketball hoop on it anymore. It hasn't for probably 15 years. <laughs> the only problem is this sheet metal is super thick, so hopefully we can bend it. We're going to find out right now. Oh, wow, it does not want to bend. Oh, wow. Because we're gonna get it in there. Alright, let's see how close it is. Boy, that's that's pretty damn close. We need to do a little trimming. Never doubt the basketball pole. <laughs>
good stopping point. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I have most of the driver's side done. This has been trickier than you would imagine. Like, there's a lot of forming and stuff and bead rolling in those pieces. These firewall pieces suck. There's no way to make it in like one piece. So it's like six little pieces. It's a mess. And you get it up in there and you need to trim like another quarter inch around the steering shaft. And it's just been so freaking long. It took me, so all this back here looks awesome you know and, and great that all took me as long as that stupid piece right there it's just a real pain in the ass also this is a very weird setup but i built it this way because i wanted more structure to the body there just wasn't much to this body so my floor is actually split that is my frame rail and this section over here stays on the body whenever you pull the body off that section in there will stay on the frame so I can't weld that piece to the drive shaft tunnel or it'll never be able to come off. So I'm just getting it close and then we're going to have to make a piece that we can bolt in and then unbolt it whenever we take the body off. Because whenever we get basically all the metal work done and everything welded and buttoned up, I'm going to pull the body off and we're going to weld the frame all up and then I'll weld the underside of all of this floor. So it still has to be able to unbolt. It's like six bolts. I built it all out of quarter inch plate. It's real strong shit. And six bolts, you can pull the whole body off. But it makes it tricky when you're doing a floor because normally a floor you just have in one piece, no big deal. I couldn't do that with this one. At least the way we built the roll cage, I couldn't do it. So yeah, makes it even trickier. I'm gonna try and get some more of the passenger side done before I call it a night. It is basically morning. I can hear the birds. So, uh, yeah, been working way too long at nights, but that's a different story. Yeah, let's see if we can't get some more done before I fall asleep. Off to a good start. Check this out. We're already into our second piece, so <laughs> that was that went by quicker than I thought. Good news is we have plenty left. I am just going to finish up the top of the firewall, and then tomorrow I'll have a bunch of little pieces to make, and we'll make one big transmission cover, and we should be good to go. But I want to get that buttoned up before I call it a night. Well, call it a day at this point, I think. Well, yeah, uh, apparently we're not working at night anymore. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, let's button this up. Damn. this video saying we're gonna knock this floor out real quick and then we're gonna take it for a drive why would i even say that when the floor is taking 40 hours oh we're starting on the firewall pieces like i said earlier the floor and the firewall has to be bolted in so that i can still take the body off which makes this trickier than it needs to be to say the least Two hours later. I need a little bubble right there because that's where my transmission lines go in. Oh, I'm going to have to hit the hell out of it.
Holy shit! It is done. That sucked so much. Transmission tunnel is probably the ugliest one I've ever made, but tiny car, big engine, you gotta do what you gotta do. Everything still moves, nothing's binding up, which is good. And I kept everything as close as I could to the side. So I actually still have decent um, foot room in there, believe it or not. But man, ugh, it made it even harder too because I had to make it removable. Like I said, the floor is split. This half of the floor goes with the car whenever the body comes off. And then the other half's all bolt in, in the front and the back. So you can just pull the whole thing off. But oh man, if I could have just made that in one piece without needing to make it removable, that would have been, probably took me a half an hour instead it took me four hours. But it is done. I'm very, very happy. I wanted to throw the gas tank in, take it for a drive. That's not gonna happen. It's the middle of the night and it's currently Tuesday morning and this needs to go up in a couple hours, so we're done. I did get something cool in though. I got more titanium drag blocks. I put these on the van last week and we are gonna put them on the CRX. What I've been doing lately is running two videos on each project and then I'll move to another project. I think I'm gonna stay on this one for one more so we'll make it three videos. I'm gonna get all this buttoned up. I wanna get the seat back in. I want to get my bumpers sitting right, all that stuff. I still need to get an alternator in this. I got a badass alternator bracket and a new alternator to put on. I think we're gonna do, we're gonna stay on this old girl. In the next video, button up some shit and take it for a proper drive. Now, uh, I'm much less scared to take it for a drive now that it actually has a floor in it. <laughs> it was a little shady the last time. <laughs> Oh, I just hear a humming. Um, 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 um. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I can't hear. <laughs> I can't hear at all. I'm not joking. I don't know if I'm talking loud or quiet. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's all the burnout we're doing today because we got to fix some shit. Holy crap, I got so much done. Look at all the little pieces of sheet metal all over the floor. There's just hundreds and hundreds of them. <laughs> Look at this shit. Also, this started out as a five by 10 sheet. It wasn't a four by eight, it was a five by 10. And that's all that's left. So we used, no, no, I take that back. I used one full sheet and this. So I used one and a half sheets to get this shit done. That's crazy. It looks pretty bitching. We have some sheet metal work that still needs done under the hood. We'll do that in the next video too. And uh, take the bitch for a drive. The 1966 Mustang giveaway is only gonna last until Friday, so you only got a couple days to get in. If you want in on that, it is a 1966 Mustang on top of a 2005 BMW chassis. We have full build videos here on the channel if you wanna take a look at it. Damn, that is a cool ass looking car. That is only gonna last a couple more days. So if you want in, go to caseyscustoms.com for all of the details. If you enjoy the CRX build, or you wanna see some other really cool builds that we have going on here in the shop, please hit that subscribe button. Helps the channel grow a bunch. We also have the coolest merchandise on the planet. Go to caseyscustoms.com for all of that and more. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, comment, all that good shit they tell you at the end of videos, and check out some more of my other videos. Peace, love you.